Start trading crypto today. Sign up for our step-by-step video series to get set up with the best trading tools, start analyzing charts, enter and exit a trade properly, and most importantly, see if crypto trading is right for you. Join us at bitlabacademy.com. Welcome to Rice TVX. You've just tuned in for the newest episode of the Rice Crypto Show. Today, I am joined by entrepreneur, crypto OG, and fellow content creator behind Diary of a Made Man, Ian Bellina. He is also the founder and CEO of Token Metrics. Today, we're going to be talking about Token Metrics, their new NFT AI research tool, and Astrobot Society, which is a PFP utility NFT with lifetime subscriptions to Token Metrics and more. Before we get into it, visit ricetvx.com and sign up for my mailing list so you never miss an update or new Rice TVX content. You will also find my various social media links and more. You can also find Rice TVX on Odyssey and Library, where I have a full catalog of my videos, post up extra content, and share other appearances. And you can also find Rice TVX on BitChute. I will include links in the video description for everything I just mentioned, as well as everything shared on today's video. All right, joining me on today's show is fellow content creator Ian Bellina, who some of you may know as Diary of a Made Man. He is also the founder and CEO of Token Metrics. Ian, welcome to Rice TVX. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. Great to be here. How about you? I'm doing well, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. Uh, We did have the opportunity to meet in person while uh, I was attending Decentral in Austin, which also consensus was going on at the same time. And Got to see you at an after party event and talk, which was a great opportunity. It was a good time. Good conversation. So it was great meeting you. And I appreciate you accepting my invitation to come on today. So um, I'm going to have links for everything that we're going to be talking about on today's show. I know that you're not currently active in the YouTube realm, but I did want to share your YouTube channel. So if anybody wants to check that out, I also have a link for the Token Metrics YouTube channel. I did interview Bill Nolan from Token Metrics. I'll include. Yeah, Bill Nolan. We're recording this on the 15th of August. I'm going to release it on the 16th. And tomorrow I'm interviewing Bill Nolan again as well. So it'll be a Token Metrics week over on Rice TVX. So I encourage people to sign up for Token Metrics. I'm going to have a link down below. Uh, it's going to be my referral link so that you can sign up and check out what Token Metrics is all about. But Ian, if you don't mind, for anybody who might be unfamiliar with you, do you mind introducing yourself? And I'm also curious of how and when you got involved in crypto. Yeah, sure. So my background uh, comes from really just having a passion for for computers, Uh, background as a computer engineer, grad school, undergrad, um, then went on to work in IT for Deloitte and then IBM Watson. So I was there as part of the IBM Watson team for four years. My first three years as a technical sales engineer, then my last year covering all of IBM North America analytics uh, for open source and big data. And that's where I really saw the future of AI. So basically seeing what IBM was doing in the, in the AI space, I got into crypto in 2016. Then one year later, quit my job to go full-time in crypto as an angel investor with, during the, the, the peak of the, of the bull run. And really my life has changed ever since then. Best move I ever made. Um, but I also saw that the space needed a data-driven approach to investing. So... Lots of people know me back in, in my days for having a spreadsheet, basically kind of like the money ball for investing in ICOs at the time, token sales. So we took that and then evolved this with token metrics, taking as much data as we can in the crypto space and adding machine learning and, and AI to it to help us find insights. So lots of, lots of platforms give you a data dump. We help abstract that by helping you find the needle in the haystack in insights through our crypto ratings powered by AI through our crypto indices, which are basically model portfolios, and through our, uh, our, our media company. So from research to news to newsletters, all that. Okay. Uh, now, I, what I do encourage people to check out is that first interview with Bill Nolan, because he goes into a little bit more of a explanation as to what token metrics is. Uh, so I don't want Ian to have to necessarily repeat that, but I definitely appreciate you giving a little bit of your perspective. 
one thing that we didn't talk about with me and Bill that I that I will bring up with them in tomorrow's interview is um, an NFT research platform. Have you guys added the AI research element to yeah. NFTs now? Yes, yeah. So officially, as of last week, uh, lots of our customers and community have asked for NFT data. So we've launched an NFT AI grade that raised rich NFT assets plus whole collections. So being able to look at on-chain data and other data points and, and also social media data, find out what NFTs we think are undervalued and will make for great NFT holds. So for example, whether it's Bored Ape collections, knowing what exact Bored Ape has the most upside based on historical sales data plus social data. Yeah, so okay. if you're logged in now, if, if you just go to analytics on NFT, that's the page they launched. I was actually looking for this earlier. I didn't realize it was going to be right underneath the analytics tab. That's why I was kind of, I was going to ask you during the interview. So I'm glad that you shared that. Yeah. So, so right now launch- basically it's showing you collections. So Broad Ape Yacht Club has the highest grade at the moment. Um, then if you actually click at the top on NFT assets, okay. that will show you what collections, I mean, what actual NFTs have the most upside. So in this case, Broad Ape 5760 has an NFT grade of 99%. So our AI is very bullish on that. And we see that the last sales was for 55 ETH. And our projection is that it's currently worth about 129 ETH currently. So this helps you really navigate the the NFT space. Okay. So now these aren't assets that necessarily that token metrics owns. These are just the actual assets that people can get if they they choose to, to purchase or trade for these. Yes, correct. Right. So, for example, if you click on any of the NFTs, they will just take you to a page with more information and then also give you a link to buy it on OpenSea if you like. Okay. So, it obviously wouldn't have something that didn't have a, a an open order where you can actually, it has to be available for purchase for you guys to list it. Um, no. So, right now, we're just looking at what's pretty on chain. So, for example, this right now is not listed. Uh, looks like this was bu- purchased two days ago. Uh, but it's not listed. If you click buy on OpenSea, it should basically take you to a page where it asks you to make an offer. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. So it doesn't, it's not necessarily that, that the individual wants to sell it, but if you would like to make an offer, you could. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Very cool. I like this because I mean, the AI uh, research tools I, I've, I have found to be very helpful just in the crypto element in general. So to have them being added to the NFTs, which is obviously something that people are very fond of. I feel like the NFT space is just growing. We're just kind of at the beginning stages of what NFTs can really become. So I'm, I'm really glad that you guys have added that element onto the platform. So appreciate you explaining that. And yeah, you guys you. also um, have a, a brand new NFT. It's a PFP utility NFT project that Token Metrics is putting out called Astrobots. Yes. Yeah. So our, our community has been asking us for ways to be able to purchase lifetime subscriptions to Tokyo Metrics. And for us being in the Web3 space for a while, it just made sense for us to launch this NFT that has actual u- utility. So we're launching Token, Met- Token Metrics Astrobot Society NFTs, which will be NFTs that give you access to the platform. So we have different pl- pricing plans from basic to advanced premium and pro, uh, I mean, and uh, VIP. And these NFTs will let you log into the platform using that NFT. So basically we're eating our, our own dog food and letting people be able to purchase these NFTs at a step discount versus p- paying a monthly or annual fee. They basically can buy an NFT for life. Okay, so now with that being said, what, what would happen if it, nothing really changes if somebody is using the monthly uh, and wants to remain that way, the NFT doesn't affect that, correct? Correct. Yeah. So basically, we're giving people both options to one, log in via Web3 and an NFT, or to just log in via the platform itself. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Um, now, you had mentioned before we started that uh, for the people that are viewing this, uh, people that are supporters of Rise TVX, if they're interested in getting involved and get, purchasing one and getting on the white list, that you're going to, um, Token Metrics will supply a link that I'll have in the video description. I'll also put it as the very pinned comment so people can make sure that they see it and use that link and sign up for the whitelist. Now, if you don't mind explaining how 10 random people will be, basically yes, any, not everybody who signs up is going to be chosen. 10 random people who sign up using my link will be chosen to be on the whitelist so that you can get lifetime subscription. But yeah, do you mind explaining a little bit of that? 
Sure. So we've, cre we've created a custom link that's for your community where anybody can just click that link and sign up. It's, it's a pre-mint link. You go through, do all the actions. And once you do that, our group will go through and pick 10 random winners to give them a spot on the whitelist. The spot on the whitelist will give you the ability to purchase and mint an NFT. These will be random NFTs. So for pot potentially, you could mint a VIP lifetime subscription plan for a steep discount. Right. Your so team, your team is fast, by the way. <laughs> yes, we are. Because <laughs> you were getting that link before we started the interview. And here we are in the interview, not even nine minutes into it. And you've already got a link. And this is what people will see with the link that's going to be down below in the video description to sign up. Yes. Yeah. So basically, they'll just go to this link, fill this out, and we'll award 10 random whitelist spots. Okay. Now, so if, if you currently are, like, let's say somebody is already a monthly member, it they don't, in order, they can either end their membership and get an NFT and continue with a lifetime subscription. Now, there's different levels of membership. So how does that work with the NFTs? Yes, good question. So the NFTs will be random uh, during the mint sale. So let's say you end up with a VIP plan. This is valid at 750 bucks uh, or per month or 7,500 7, per year. But let's say the mint price is anywhere from, let's say 0.25 to 2.5 ETH. You can basically purchase or mint a lifetime subscription for a steep discount, right? And the cool thing about this is you have actual ownership. So let's say for some reason you, you don't need token metrics anymore, you can resell your NFT on OpenSea, right? Okay. So this is really giving people ownership um, on our platform. I like that because, uh, you know, you, sometimes when you buy it, when you buy a subscription service, you're kind of stuck with it. You don't get the unless mm -hmm. you want to sell all your account details with it and such. Um, and you could change a password or whatever. I know people can can do that, but that's interesting. So um, you people have no way of knowing with the original mint. So there's going to be a whitelist mint and then there's going to be a public mint, but no one's going to have any inclination of what kind of membership they're going to get. It's completely random of the four different types. Yes, correct. So they'll be, they'll be randomized. I will have different allocations for each plan. That way the more rare plans are more rare, but during the mint it will be randomized. And, but then post mint, everything would then be available on OpenSea for anybody to purchase. OpenSea looks rare anywhere, basically where ERC20, where, where Ethereum NFTs are available to purchase and resell. Okay. Okay. And when are we looking at for the mint date? Is there a, is there a date so, launch yet? There's no date officially announced, but we're targeting to have the launch happen within a month. Okay. And uh, so people that sign up via this link, how would they be notified? Yeah. So basically once you join via premint, it will ask you for your email, your basically to create an account and then our team will go through and pick the winners and it will basically give you an alert or email notification. Okay. Very cool. Now I noticed on here, it says wallet balance. You got to have at least 0.25 Ethereum in your wallet to register. So you, you had mentioned to me before we started recording that there wasn't a specific price yet that you guys haven't set the price, but it's going to probably be a minimum of 0.25 Ethereum. Can you share a little bit more information about the pricing and when you guys might announce that information? Yeah, so we'll announce pricing closer to the actual mint date. So probably within a few days to less than a week of the actual mint date. Okay. What is Una Cento? I'm seeing yes. join the Astrobots in a fight against Una Cento today. <laughs> yeah, so Una Cento is basically the, the backstory uh, for Astrobot Society. We'll be dropping this. This is basically going to be a well-scripted journey of these astrobots that are basically helping you go out there and become a better crypto investor. And they have enemies out there in the intergalactic uh, crypto worlds. Uh, but we want this to really be a good story, a good way to tell stories uh, between, because people in crypto want to go to the moon and beyond, right? So we're basically mm -hmm. building this, this, this whole new world. Uh, but also adding actual utility to it with the NFTs. But also, this is something we, we find very, very artistic. We have this artist, Dina, who's the artist that's done all the 3D models. Uh, we've, we've dropped some teasers on, on Twitter uh, of the NFTs. But these are, think of these as, the, as these superhero robots that can evolve and transform, that are going out there and they have this enemy and they're trying to help people become financially free and build wealth in crypto.
Is there any plans to do like any sort of metaverse or anything like that in the future with the Astrobot Society? Uh, I mean, not at the moment, but we have a very open and flexible roadmap. Uh, we, we do like being creative, so nothing is ever completely ruled out. Okay, very cool. And what uh, I'm assuming you're going to be using the Ethereum blockchain for the 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 actual NFTs? Yes. Yeah, everything will, will, will happen on the on the Ethereum blockchain. We have uh, the Azuki smart contracts for NFTs, the ERC seven twenty one A, I believe, that makes them very gas efficient. So this will be a very gas efficient mint. Okay. Now, I, I want to say like this in theory, if somebody was to get on a white spot, whitelist spot or obtain one of the 10,000 NFTs uh, and they and let, let's say they want a lifetime membership, if they don't get the lifetime membership, the way that they would obtain that is via buying it on something like OpenSea in the future if it's available. I uh, know. So if they're on, on the whitelist, there'll be a yeah. mint sale where they can mint the actual NFT and, and get the NFT directly. Right, but I mean, it's, since it's random, let's say that the, right. that the, that the mentor wants to get a VIP, wants to get the VIP membership, and and yeah. ends up with any, okay. something yeah. less. So in that case, the, 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 they can go on OpenSea or any other platform, resell their NFT, and then purchase that VIP NFT. Okay, that's cool, and I like the way that you guys are doing it random, which is which is a little bit more fair. Mm -hmm. And it mentions here that over a period of months after sellout, the holders can enter raffles to win Lamborghini, multiple blue chip NFTs, merch, and more. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yes. Yeah. We have uh, lots of uh, interesting things planned for our NFT holders. We want to offer as much value as possible, but while also keeping things very fun. So one of the ideas we got from our community was basically doing a Lambo giveaway, right? So based, based on how the mint sale goes and probably we'll say three to six months into it, we would like to, to start doing uh, one uh, in, in real life events from meetups to conferences to even uh, parties for our NFT holders, where it's very, ex very exclusive. And then also doing giveaways from other blue chip NFTs like uh, Dudo, Suzuki, maybe even Bored Apes to maybe even giving away a Lamborghini because people kind of know us for Moon Lambo and helping people go, go, go to the moon and beyond. So why not potentially give away a Lamborghini randomly to one of the NFT holders? We think that would be pretty fun and cool. No, that would be cool. It would be cool. And, and, it, and it definitely adds a lot more utility with what you guys are trying to create beyond just a lifetime subscription model. So I, I like that because it's, I mean, you could just do lifetime subscription because what token, what token metrics offers with their analytics is, is an awesome crypto research tool. So adding in all these extra elements because I've been to crypto conferences and I know that some of the board ape people have had parties on mm -hmm. an NFT NYC, which I didn't attend. There was a couple different events that you would have had to have been a holder of a board ape or be a guest of a holder of a board ape to be able to attend. So that kind of having that exclusive action is pretty cool. So I think a lot of people in crypto would definitely gravitate towards something like this, which I, which I appreciate, man. I think it's really cool. And something else that I was noticing while I was going through the token metrics Twitter account, and let me see where I can where I saw this. Maybe it was on um, the Astrobot Society, but it was talking about. Oh, here it is, the AstroDAO. Yeah. What it, what is AstroDAO? I'm just now hearing about so, this. So this is very uh, organic for me. So AstroDAO is is our other project. We have lots of products. We've been working. We've been staying busy during this crypto market. So it's an it's a DeFi protocol that lets anybody launch their own index. So basically, if you want to build an index on Ethereum, that's basically a basket of crypto assets. You can do it on AstroDAO. So this is something we'll be launching uh, this month as well. Um, actually, the plan is to launch it this week. I haven't really announced this publicly yet, but uh, might as well make some, some news. The plan is to launch this this week, um, and it will be open source. Uh, it will be an airdrop. Uh, to our community members. Uh, everything's available at astradow.org. And the plan is to really make this a community project. Uh, Token Metrics has been early open source contributors to it. And we want to really help anybody be, be able to launch their own basket of indices. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Uh, so is this going to be a part of Token Metrics or is this like a separate uh, no. entity? So, yeah, this is a separate entity, completely different project, but we've been early contributors to it. Okay. 
Okay, that makes sense. And uh, I wasn't sure if it was public information. I, I was assuming it was since there was a yeah. Twitter account and there was uh, some retweets from the actual um, uh, Token Metrics Twitter account. So that's pretty cool, man. Um, well, I'm I'm excited to learn more, you know, and, and be- definitely pay attention to when the NFT minting is going to take place. So I encourage people that are interested, people that use token metrics, or, or if you're curious and you want to use token metrics and you want lifetime membership, this will be definitely the way to do it. And I'll have this premint.xyz link uh, for Rice TVX listed down below. So make sure you're using this link to specifically get signed up on the whitelist. And again, 10 random people will be chosen to win, which I appreciate you offering that, Ian. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and definitely so it's a pleasure. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. I, and and uh, I think that um, I'm looking forward to my interview with Bill because me and Bill get into some really interesting conversations about economics, which I always enjoy. But I do appreciate your time. And um, before we do wrap up, uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to add to today's conversation? Any yeah, final I mean, thoughts? Uh, final thoughts. Crypto market has been turning more bullish, which is great. Our TM market indicators have turned bullish. Uh, always great to have people like you in the space and that was a pleasure being on well thank you thank you again uh, again i want to encourage people even if you're not interested in signing up for the nft mint and if you just want to go the traditional subscription route uh, make sure you're using my affiliate link which will be listed down below in the video description because it is an additional way that you can support the channel i will have links down below for everything that we talked about on today's show I definitely encourage you to make sure you subscribe not only to Rice TVX, Token Metrics YouTube channel, Ian Bellina's YouTube channel, and make sure you're following them on their social medias. Again, everything will be linked down below. Ian, if you can just bear with me one second, just going to wrap up and stop the recording. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified when my videos come out. And I will leave you with this. Be blessed. Be the change. Practice change. And I'll see you on the next show.